should I speak, Liv? Yeah, right, go for so it. So, you guys, so, you know, we're getting them banded, so, you know, you just have individuals marked in case we recapture them in the future, someone else does. You have a history of where they came from. But also, we're recording, you know, plumage development, uh, taking some measurement data, body mass data, and in some just general notes on whether the eyes are open, closed, egg tooth present or not, down on the head or not. And now, we're getting to where we have pretty good sample size over the years, so we're trying to uh, develop growth models for these guys. So if we get a good sample, plug all that data in, first get the raw growth, and then we'll uh, plug it into see growth models, and we can make comparisons and stuff. Maybe among species, uh, different species of cavity nesting owls, for example, pygmies and sawwits, how do they grow, or sawwits in individual areas, sawwits within and between ears. So that's, uh, that's what we're doing. And look, I think I said the other day, we've got some pretty good sample size now where we feel comfortable. And I believe, Matt, is this one of these here is like we're, we're pretty close to 60 natural nest sites now mm -hmm. uh, of solid owls. Mm -hmm. We're going to be able to develop, you know, <clears throat> models for snag retention and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Okay, here we go. We'll get back to you, Matt. Yeah. I'll record. So what about nest boxes? Are you guys checking any nest boxes? We do have all... nest boxes. And okay. At some point, it would be nice to compare how many young fledge from a nest box versus how many young fledge from natural sites, yeah. you know, I mean, are there differences? And yeah. then placement, you know, you only see very few cavities when you find them at solids in the wild, but nest boxes can be placed at any kind mm -hmm. of distances, and I don't think we really, you know, understand or really think about how we place nest boxes. Mm -hmm. Not that they're not great for access and growth rates right. and banding and all that. Right. They're great for things like that. You were saying that earlier, how easy it is to yeah, it's check become, chicks in a nest okay, box versus P10, a natural P10, cavity. 27. 27. Okay, P9. 30. 30. And Matt's looking at, you know, he's measuring feather growth from where the feather erupted from the sheath. Mm -hmm, okay. 33. 33. That's 8, right? Yep. 8's 33, okay. All right. TL. Fourteen. Fourteen. I'm gonna switch off the video so we can do the pictures. Okay. 